Warning, sensitive images. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. So when I talk about the spirits of animals and the evolution of their souls, I'm talking about pretty much the evolution of humans and, you know, the creation of our spirits. But, you know, focusing on animals because there's no difference really apart from we are different species. Spiritual evolution and the devastating effects of eating meat. Interview with David Barreto, vegan, part one of two. Continue watching to find out more. No to vegan, because robbing others of their lives is your style. No? means how are you in Dutch, one of the official languages of St. Martin. I'm Silveria. To compassionate people of St. Martin wish that noble beings like you will always be shielded by heaven's protection. Intelligent viewers, welcome to part one of our two-part series, Spiritual Evolution and the Devastating Effects of Eating Meat, interview with David Barreto, vegan. David Barreto is an author, a researcher on spirituality and science, and a lecturer in quantum physics in London, UK. For more than 20 years, David has been studying spirituality and has also completed academic studies in various sciences, including astrophysics, cosmology, and neuropsychology. Through his books, he hopes to build a bridge between science and spirituality, especially regarding the people of the animal kingdom. David recently released the book Spiritual Evolution in the Animal Kingdom, Karma, Reincarnation, and the Repercussions of Eating Meat, in which he discusses the spirituality of animal people, their reincarnation process, and why eating meat seriously degrades our spiritual bodies. On today's program, David explains why he wrote this remarkable book. I love animals, right? And I really do love every type of animals. And my field of study is spirituality and science. So I was like, there is not enough out there about animals, about their souls, about their spirits, about their evolution, the, the journey they are taking, right? We sometimes, as humanity, we think that animals are just animated beings out there. And that is so wrong because they have a spirit. They are evolving in their own lives, in their own worlds. So I was like, somebody needs to write something about that. I've read several books um, and, and scriptures regarding animal spirituality. And I was um, not convinced it wasn't enough. What they had was lists to benefit the human, the human being, right? So let's uh, which animal is my animal uh, guardian? Which animal brings luck? Which animal is my star sign? And I was like, this is not animal spirituality. This is spirituality to benefit humans. So I was like, I need a little bit more. I need to know, not for me, but to share with the world that animals, they are like us humans. They are here on planet Earth to evolve, to grow spiritually like we are. And we are going towards the same direction, humans and animals. We are just like in different states of evolution right now, spiritual evolution. I need to put all of this together. So yeah, I mingled all of that in a book that I think is essential for us to read because it contains the information that we are missing regarding animals. They are a little bit more than just animated beings. Throughout the book, David emphasizes that humans and animal people 
are on the same spiritual journey of constant evolution. The thing is, um, animals, they are created pretty much like we humans were created. We weren't created the, the way our spirits are now. We were created uh, in a very simple way. So the evolution of this spirit is not very different from the evolution that we see in um, science and biology. So the, the souls of animals, right, the, the spirits of animals and the spirits of humans, they've been created in the same way, detaching from source. You can call it source, call it God, you call it the uh, infinite intelligence, you call it, uh, you know, you name it. But that atomant, that like, sparkle the stars of the spirit came from the same source and now animals are evolving on planet earth not only here but they're evolving on planet earth right now incarnating in those bodies of animals pretty much like we are incarnating here in the bodies of humans right we are not going to be humans forever we are going to evolve eventually we're going to go to other spheres or other dimensions and then I'll continue our evolution, maybe in other spheres or maybe like in other, you know, realms, right? Animals are doing the same and they've been doing before, they are doing now and they'll do later, right? We are going towards the same direction. And the thing, the difference between humans and animals is just the species, really. It's not like the aim, like where we are going in our evolution. We are all growing towards the same direction. Many religions state that the physical form is very different from the soul. David explains that our physical form has changed many times during our spiritual evolution. All humans, right, they've been all the species in the past, right? Like animals, they've been all the things in the past, right? You know, there's a whole process. We never stop evolving. We never stop growing. Right, and that's the beauty of that. So when I talk about the spirit of animals and the evolution of their souls, I'm talking about pretty much the evolution of humans and you know the creation of our spirits. But you know, focusing on animals because there's no difference really, apart from we are different species, but we're doing the same thing, which is like this journey towards evolution. We choose to eat meat and have therefore built slaughterhouses houses for the animals and hospitals for us. Akbarali H. Jetta, vegetarian. We'll take a moment now to thank the divine for our amazing earth with its fascinating array of animal people co inhabitants. We'll be back after this message. Noble viewers, welcome back to our program. David next explains that our animal people co-inhabitants are here to help us, and that even tiny insect people are important. Spider people, for example, have an energetic role. Little do we know that, etherically speaking, which means like the energy that surrounds the, the essence of the spider, right? The, the whole energy is a, is it this energy connected to to labor to work to producing to action right that area right of the spider has to do with movement labor and the spider is uh, influencing other animals to develop their their skills their instincts so for example when you see a spider at home right obviously there are physical reasons why a spider would be at, at your house right maybe you live like near the woods maybe like you leave the, the 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 window open every day you know that's the physical explanation we know that but the thing is when a spider is on like books or on the ceilings or in a particular place in your house that means that that place needs movement you need to work in that uh, environment so if it, if the webs are over books then read those books. If if the if the webs are um, somewhere else, you know, like on a chair or on a table or in this particular room, go in that room. You know, do things, clean the room, move things away, read something there, do something there, right? Because that energy is lacking there, and then the spider is doing that what you're not doing. 
right? But never, never, never kill a spider or any insects. Remember that the spider is there just to do the work that you are not doing. So if you want to get rid of a spider, you should work your own case, right? You should read books, you should like work in that environment. It has nothing to do with the spider, the spider is there to help you. Many thanks, David Barreto, for your fascinating information about the people of the animal kingdom and our shared spiritual journeys. May you be blessed for your noble endeavors. Our most gracious Supreme Master Ching Hai can speak telepathically with animal people and frequently speaks about the remarkable gifts they bring. She shares a story about the loving kindness of a tiny spider person she once met. Oh, so many animal people are so incredibly kind, not just my dog person. Even today, outside of my door, there's a spider person. He spun a web where I would uh, hang my clothes in the sun to dry. And I tried to shake him away, he didn't go. He came back and mend his uh, net again. So I was feeling strange that he's so persisting to build a house there. So I said, all right, never mind. Then I will try other ways to hang it somewhere else. And then I want to go find out why is he so insisting to put up a tent in front of my door <laughs> and uh, where I should hang my clothes also in the sun. I asked him, why did you insist to put up your tent here? The house in front of my door like this makes it difficult for me to come out and to hang my clothes. I don't have a clothes dryer, eh? just a small little machine and I have to hang out to dry. I don't need a dryer actually. So, and then he told me, because you need protection. How can a spider person protect me? Imagine, it's just the invisible things. So he said, because you need protection. My God, that's a small little creature beings like that. I was so touched. We're deeply grateful to Supreme Master Ching Hai for reminding us about the vital importance of even the smallest of our animal people called inhabitants. We pray that we will soon live in a vegan world where all beings are safe. For more information on David Barreto, please visit davidbarreto.net. Deny vegan. Don't worry. God will not ask you again, because you will be away, far, far from God in hell. Gentle viewers, we are grateful for your company today. Please join us again next Monday for the concluding episode in this series. Coming up next is Successful Refugees and Immigrants Leading the Way, Part 19 of a multi-part series, Supermodel Adud Agek. Right after noteworthy news, may you grow each day in wisdom, joy, and compassion. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash ss. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique ss. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada ss. Naše te predavanje predlagat mnogo jezici. Molje vište suprememastertv.com naklonene črta schedule i suprememastertv.com naklonene črta ss.